This is a story about a circus that came to Geneva, Illinois. The Walker Brothers Circus out of Sarasota, Florida was sponsored by the Kane County Forest Preserve District. We wanted to see more than just a circus performance, so we arrived hours before the show. One of the first things we noticed was that the elephants, the stars of the Walker Brothers Circus, have nothing to do. They spend most of their days in utter boredom. If they aren't being trucked like freight in a semi-trailer, or giving rides in a tiny circle, or performing for a few minutes once or twice a day, they are chained to a stake, swaying for hours on end. With a lifespan of 70 years or more, elephants are some of the most intelligent beings on the planet. In the wild, they may walk 50 miles a day and possess strong and enduring family ties. Holding these great beings captive is indefensible. This elephant named Tess started fidgeting, looking for something, anything, that would give her something to do. For that, she was scolded. No, oh, Tess! God damn it, Tess! Leave it alone, or I'll chain you up on your back. A while later, still frustrated, Tess was at it again. Again, the worker threatens Tess, but aware of our cameras, he is careful not to go too far. For a very, very long time, Tess and her companions were simply left to sway and sway and sway. Elephant swaying is a repetitive or stereotypic behavior. Minimally, it is a sign of stress and can be an indication that the elephants are mentally and emotionally damaged by their ill treatment. Tess again looks for something to do. Finally, another leg was chained, so her movement was even more restricted. You don't have to be an animal expert to see the cruelty inflicted on these animals, these slaves of the 21st century. Fact is, you'd have to be mighty shallow to not see the abuse. A trainer for Walker Brothers noticed that we were filming the elephants. We weren't the only ones with video cams, and this was public property, so videotaping is completely legal. But it obviously did not sit well with the trainer. Did you guys already get a, a consent from management to, to video the elephants? We don't need consent. Get out of here. You don't? How about to be on the grounds? Get out of here. It's public property. Public property is open. Okay, so you are not videoing me without my consent. Of course I'm videoing you. What are you doing? Don't video me, please. No, you don't have any standing, pal. You're on camera. <laughs> it's an open show. There's no barrier. Okay, this is officially a situation. Official. <laughs> so official. the best thing to do is just do your job and be quiet instead of causing some kind of a ruckus. Thank you. Thank you. Get out of here. We, we, we understand where the knowledge is coming from here in the brain. Right, right Einstein. Next, the trainer was on his cell phone. And a short time later, a police officer for the Kane County Forest Preserve District arrived. Then we learned that the elephant trainer was not only cruel, he's an outright liar as well. Okay, all right. Come on over, I'll talk to you for a minute. Shut your camera off. Can't do it, officer. My lawyer would be furious with me. Okay, you're uh, you're out here filming. Is that what you're doing? Yeah, that's what Let's I'm doing. Let's take a walk away from that gentleman. Now, what is the problem over here? There is none. Okay. Well, the man says that you're in his face and. Excuse me. Let me introduce myself. My name's Bill Page. I work for the Daily Herald. Okay. I was here following up on a story, uh, standing next to Mr. Hindi. Um, he came up. Uh, Steve had said nothing. Uh, okay. We have been uh, with my children, uh, watching them 
put kids on there and leave okay. them unattended. Steve said nothing. Uh, he came up and immediately started uh, being aggressive. The, okay. the events manager came over. Uh, and she clarified with us the fact that because it's a public show, because they opened this up, because there's no admission, because everybody else is filming, right. that there's nothing going on. Steve has made no, uh, has said nothing initially to anybody, has not spoken or called to the elephants or anything else like that. Okay. Um, what this fellow's problem is, we don't know. Do you find any problem with this yeah. Uh, outfit? Yeah. They're not licensed for starters. They're not licensed? No. From who? The USDA. I see. There's a there's a real question that the paper turned up yesterday, it was in the paper yesterday, about the legitimacy of Walker Brothers and then that they've been they've been in violation, they've had some uh, problems with they don't have a current license. The leasing company Hawthorne apparently does, but we've got a so yeah, there's a legitimacy problem. And there's other then there's then there's uh, questions I would say about the conditions and the treatment. I don't see any water out there, I don't see once the police officer realized that he had been scammed by the trainer, the woman who scheduled the circus for the county arrived to give the elephant trainer slash liar a verbal spanking. Now it's time for the big show. But on the way to the tent, Bobo the Clown, ever the performer, gives us a little show. Here come the sad elephants and Bobo in his Gort costume. Look at the nonsense these intelligent animals endure. Incredibly, circuses and zoos try to pretend that they are educating the public about exotic animals. The truth is that circus and zoo visitors are watching mere shadows of what these animals would be in the wild. And obviously real elephants don't perform the stupid, inane behaviors that these unfortunate captives are forced to do. The Walker Brothers Circus Elephants were brought in from the Hawthorne Corporation, a company with a long history of sick and abused elephants. The United States Department of Agriculture has filed numerous complaints against both Walker Brothers and Hawthorne for animal abuse. A single complaint filed April 9, 2003, charged Walker Brothers and Hawthorne with 47 violations of minimum standards of animal care. Here are just a few of them. Failure to handle an elephant in a manner that does not cause trauma, physical harm, behavior stress, and unnecessary discomfort. Using physical abuse to train, work, and handle an elephant. Exhibiting an animal under conditions that were inconsistent with her good health and well-being. Failure to provide veterinary care to an elephant suffering from severe chemical burns and bacterial infection. Failure to handle elephants so there is minimal risk of harm to the animal and to the public. There are many instances of abused, frustrated elephants finally snapping, going on rampages, injuring and even killing people. One of the most infamous cases occurred in Honolulu, Hawaii in 1994, when a Hawthorne Corporation elephant named Tyke went berserk, killing his trainer and injuring others before he escaped into the streets of the city. In the end, Tyke was gunned down by police. An elephant being shot with handguns and shotguns does not die quickly. According to police reports, it took 86 shots to kill this magnificent but miserable, horribly abused elephant. Tyke may have been lucky. At least his years of torment were over. When you go to the circus, whatever exotic animals you may see are quite literally dying to entertain you. Is that what we humans are about? Are our lives so empty that we must sacrifice the innocent simply to amuse us? The next time the circus comes to town, please remember the lives these animals endure. Swaying in chains, living on gravel or concrete, giving rides and performing stupid circus tricks is the life they endure. And it is a life of frustration, abuse, and lifelong suffering. This is Steve Hindi for Showing Animals Respect and Kindness.